Hello guys, Mr. Bay. Uh, today we're going to go over IXL K2, just going over waves again. I'm just going to do a really brief synopsis of waves. If you need a more detailed one, please go to K1, because I did spend the first f six minutes almost on it there. Okay. So once again, as a quick, quick recap, amplitude affects the volume of a wave. So the taller the wave is, the louder the thing is. And the shorter the wave is, the softer the sound will get. Okay? Uh, with these two, frequency and wavelength. Frequency and wavelength are inversely related to each other. So if one goes up, the other one goes down. Okay? So if you have a high frequency, that doesn't mean it's about the volume. It actually means about the pitch. So that means you're talking in a very high pitch volume. But on the flip side, the wavelength or the space in between the waves for the tip of the waves will be very small. Okay, so if you have a high frequency, the wavelength will be short. On the flip side, if you have frequency where the frequency is low, that means that the pitch overall sounds like really low and really deep and I'm not really good at talking deep because my voice doesn't get that down far low. But basically, the frequency is low but then the wavelength or the space in between the two waves, the tips of the waves, increases. So the wavelength is long, but the frequency is low. Okay, I hope you understand that, everyone. Anyways, going back to IXL, let's do some things on K2, okay? So here are some waves here. Uh, for the first ones, it's asking about the amplitude and the frequency. So once again, amplitude is referring to the height. If you look carefully, the height here is at 4 and 4. The height here at the bottom is at 4 and 4. So the amplitude is the same. Okay, they're the same heights. Okay, frequency. Which one do you see more waves in? That's obviously number 2. So I'm going to pick number 2 for that. And you'll pick that and that for this one here. Okay. Alright, next one. Uh, oh wait, what? There's another thing I have to answer. Oh yeah, which one transmits more energy per second? So energy per second basically refers to the frequency. So if something has more frequency, it's going to have more energy. Also, if it is louder, it will also have more energy. So I'd pick wave two, okay? All right, next one here. Graph below represents two waves. Which one has higher amplitude? Which one has higher frequency? So once again, amplitude is going to be greater for wave two because the heights of the waves are definitely a lot higher so i'm going to pick two okay frequency is how often it occurs we have one two three four five and a half tips or troughs as we say in science speak for this one here for this one it's um one two three four five wait one two three four five uh, it's kind of iffy uh, one, two, three, four, and I, I think they're the same actually, so I'm gonna say equal for that, okay? Alright. Okay, and then which one transmits more energy per second? Once again, it needs to have higher amplitude or higher frequency or higher both for frequency and amplitude, so that's wave two, okay? Alright, next one. Um, compare the waves, the amplitude and frequency again. So, amplitude would definitely go to wave two because the waves are a lot higher or taller so I do wave two frequency uh, this one has two bumps or two troughs two and a half this one has two and a half but it has that little extra there I would lean towards two but that's like super close okay so if you got that mixed up I, I wouldn't blame you okay all right uh, this one guys so obviously I would still stick with number two the one has the having more energy because it had more frequency I had higher that too Okay, all right, uh, stage two. So stage two, guys, you need to determine which one has more energy per second. So as we were saying, it needs to have more amplitude or has higher frequency. Okay, if it either wins in amplitude or frequency, it's probably the one that you want to pick as the one that has more energy. Okay, so for this one, um, the heights or the amplitudes look the same to me. So amplitude is not a factor. Uh, in terms of the frequency, this one is like one and a half maybe two but then on this one it's like two and a half so I would pick the second one for the one that has more energy there okay um, for this one uh, I would hands down pick the second one because the number of 
troughs or the tips is five here and one, two, three, five there. But then this definitely has a higher heights or more amplitude. So I'll be the second one there. And then for this one, I'm just going to do one more and cut it. So which one has more energy? I would obviously go with this one because this one has more amplitude. The, the waves are taller. And this one has higher frequency because there's one, two, three, four, five versus two and a half there. So I'd pick this one for that one there. Okay, and that's pretty much all I got for K2 for the IXL, okay? If you have any questions, make sure to email me or message me, and um, I'll get back to you as quickly as I can, okay? All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. So um, hope you guys have a good day, have a great time, and peace.